Hello, my friend. Welcome to Tubeo Channel. The COVID-19 pandemic crisis is still not finished. The U.S. stock market is still bearish. Down. It is supposed that a lot of money will pour out of the stock market into the cryptocurrency market. The Bitcoin was bullish once and gained a high, but recently it bearish down and not stop decreasing. Even a lot of good news revealed that it will have a brilliant future. Say, near recently it will reach one hundred thousand dollars. We really need some luck. Let's make a simple lottery machine and get luck. Open Fusing 360. Select top surface as background. Create a sketch using this surface. Create three circles. The diameters are 60 mm, 50 mm, and 40 mm, respectively. Create a line and modify it using offset 2 mm on the both sides. Create a circular pattern using this three line. For the center point, you can select the z-axis or just select the circles. Quantity is nine since we want to make nine bricks. That the number is one to nine integers. Draw a line pass through these two points. I select the perpendicular construction and make two three millimeter squares. Finish sketch. Extrude the sketch to make a single unit. The height is four millimeter. Modify a little using the fillet function. Create a pattern using a circular pattern. Here you can also select the z-axis or shield the sketch, and select the circle. Quantity is nine. Combine them together to form the wheel. Drill a hole that the diameter is 13 mm. Now the wheel is finished. Extrude the outer part to form a brick of number. The height is 10 mm. Align the center part to the wheel center part. Combine them using the cut function. Make sure keep tools are selected since we need the wheel part as well. Rotate the whole part 20 degree. It will make the next design easier. Make a hole in the center that the diameter is 5 mm and the height is 3 mm. Copy number eight times. Use emboss function to write the number to the surface of the numbers. Then modify the number of parts a little, such as adding clearance for the 3D printer. Then make two copies of the wheels. Create a pattern, the circular pattern for the numbers. Add other parts that support the wheel. Now it looks like this. Now we start adding some standard components that combine them together. We need a ball bearing that fit the center parts. And the board and the nut to fix them together. Click the insert menu and select the MacMaster car component. The Fusion 360 will automatically connect to the internet and find the standard components. Type a ball bearing and select the correct one. In my case, I select the metric type and select the shaft diameter of five mm. For housing ID, I select ten mm as the test. The thickness is four mm. Click the select one, and you will find the product detail. Select the 3D STEP format, since Fusion 360 can directly use this format. This ball bearing is now added as a component. Insert it into the correct position. Using a similar method, we can add a board and a nut. I use M5 40 mm lens board and M5 stainless nut.
Now everything is finished. Export them in STL format. Print them. Construction them all together. You will need several 5 times 3 mm niodymium magnets, and a 40 mm M5 board, and an M5 nut, 3695ZZ ball bearing. All niodymium magnets are constructed like this. Let's check if it works or not. I have found that the middle wheel shafted half of the number of the brake. It looks like these magnets are interfering with each other. Then I removed all 9 diamond magnets but left only one for the middle wheel and make this one the opposite alignment direction. Now we can see all the numbers are aligned nice. Rotate the rotary machine. It rotates smoothly. I hope you can get your favorite lucky numbers. If you have seen the video here, please do me a favor. Subscribe to my channel and click the small bell. So you will not miss an update. Tube your channel is waiting for you.